So I want to talk to you about your cell phone bill. It's, it's a story we talked about a lot on this show, and the whole idea of people using their cell phones like they do in the street or on a bus on, on a plane, I think, is just so distasteful to so many Americans. Tell me what your bill would do and, and what you hope will happen. Well, it, it's going to make sure that we use common courtesy in the air. Uh, I fly back and forth three weeks out of the month, sit close, very close to, to many passengers that I get to know personally, and uh, I, I don't think they want to hear me talking on my cell phone the entire time. So what this bill does, it bans voice communication. We can still text, you can still do email, use email, and, and other sources of communication. It's the common sense thing to do to keep courtesy in a very enclosed environment. Three of the uh, airlines, Delta, JetBlue, United, they're already saying we don't want to see this happen. Ultimately, do you think this should be the decision of the airlines themselves? Should they have a role? Well, absolutely. I hope that more airlines decide that they, they are going to follow that route, too. But I think it's Congress's job to follow the will of the American people who have overwhelmingly said that they are against this. They don't want to see a new, a new fad called flight rage because you have somebody <laughs> sitting next to you the entire time actually talking on their cell phone. I can't imagine anything worse. Well, I can't imagine worse things, but that's just so <laughs> annoying. But Stephen Butler from Tennessee actually had great pushback on this. He uh, submitted an email through the public comment. Here's what he said. We've had phones before, and it wasn't a problem. Does no one remember the air phone, the role that it played with Flight 93 on 9-11? And, of course, the phone was used to try to contact help, to try to contact assistance. What do you say to that? There might be a use for these cell phones. Well, in, in during an emergency situation, I don't think anybody's going to say, hey, get off your cell phone. Uh, but when you look at common sense, you look at the old, the old uh, phones that were in the back of the seats on the airplanes, they were so cost prohibitive that no one used them, so there really wasn't that annoyance factor, that lack of courtesy factor. So what we need, have now is the ability to use our cell phones with virtual, virtually unlimited minutes, and I don't want to sit next to somebody, and frankly, somebody doesn't want to sit next to me, and I'm on my cell phone a lot, and they don't want to hear me <laughs> holding that conversation. And, and if somebody is in an emergency situation, Jerry, and they decide that they need to use their cell phone, uh, I want to go testify on their behalf in court when some moron tries to prosecute them. I have to tell you, people here in New York use them in the most inappropriate places, at weddings, funerals. It's unbelievable. Maybe you can work on that next. Congressman Davis, thanks for coming on tonight. We'll be right back. Thank you, Jerry.